The Density Lab has several graphs that you need to produce. So the first graph or set of graphs that you need to make have mass on the y-axis and volume on the x-axis. So I'm just going to put a line here, and I'm going to call this my 10% line. I have no idea where your 10% line is going to be, but that's what I'm just going to do. You need to find the trend line for this. The trend line is going to be y equals mx plus b, and whatever program you're using should calculate that for you. Now you could produce another graph with your next concentration, or if you're comfortable using the program, then you can plot the 20% on the same graph and get its trend line and so on. And I'm just going to put these three in there because that's the three colors that I have. So then I'm going to do this for 30% y equals mx plus b. Now because mass is on the y-axis and volume is on the x-axis, then the slope is mass over volume. So that slope is the density. So then you need to produce one more graph. You need to take all of the densities, all of the slopes that you have found, and the density then is going to be on the y-axis and the concentration on the x-axis. So we'll have our 10 and our 20, 30 and 40, and you will have a density line. This density line trend line is called your standard curve. Then you're going to find the density of your unknown beverage using a similar method by plotting it on a mass and volume curve. And then you're going to insert it into this equation. Now, why is density? So this is density equals the slope times the concentration plus B. So when you find the density of your unknown beverage, it gets inserted as Y and you solve for X.